ever considered how powerful a simple act of forgiveness can be in transforming your relationships. Today, we're diving into the concept of selisha, the Hebrew term for forgiveness, and its impact on our connections with others. Imagine a king forgiving an enormous debt as told in the parable of the unforgiving servant. An act of such immense generosity gives us a glimpse into the heart of forgiveness. It's not about ignoring what happened or pretending it didn't hurt. It's about choosing to let go of the resentment, the bitterness, the desire for revenge. When we embrace forgiveness, we're not just doing a favor to the person who wronged us, we're also doing ourselves a huge favor. Holding on to anger is like holding on to a hot coal with the intention of throwing it at someone else. In the end, you're the one who gets burned, but when we forgive, we let go of that hot coal. We free ourselves from the pain and open up space for peace and growth. Now, this doesn't mean we should allow people to walk all over us. Forgiveness doesn't equal permission. It's about finding a balance, setting boundaries, and expressing your feelings honestly, while also being willing to let go and move forward. And this is where chesed, or loving kindness, comes in. When we forgive, we're showing kindness, not just to the other person, but also to ourselves. We're saying, I value our relationship more than this mistake. We're choosing love over resentment, understanding over judgment, compassion over condemnation. By practicing Salicha, we foster healthier, more compassionate relationships. We create connections based on understanding and mutual respect where everyone feels safe to be their authentic selves, to make mistakes, to learn, and to grow together. So remember, a little forgiveness can go a long way in healing and strengthening your relationships. It's not always easy, but it's always worth it because in the end, forgiveness is the key that unlocks the door to peace, freedom, and true happiness. What? What if I told you that fairness and contentment could be your game changers in life? Imagine a world where everyone is treated equally, where each person's contributions are valued, and where we are all content with our own journeys. Sounds ideal, right? This concept isn't as elusive as it might seem thanks to the Hebrew principles of tzedakah and anava. Let's start with tzedakah. It's a term that embodies righteousness or justice, but it's not just about abiding by the law or doing what's right. It's about treating everyone with fairness. This concept is beautifully illustrated in the parable of the laborers in the vineyard. Whether a laborer started early in the morning or late in the afternoon, they were all paid the same wage. This parable teaches us that everyone's contributions are valuable, regardless of when they started. It's a lesson that promotes equality and fairness, reminding us that each person's journey is unique and equally important. Now, onto anava, the, the Hebrew term for humility. Anava is about being content with your own journey and recognizing the value in others' contributions. It's about understanding that everyone is on their own path and that it's okay to move at your own pace. It's about appreciating your progress and not comparing it to others. This mindset can bring about a sense of peace and fulfillment that is truly priceless. So what happens when you combine Zedekah and Anava? You create a space where everyone is treated fairly, where each person's contributions are valued, and where you are content with your own journey. It's a space that fosters growth, compassion, 
and understanding. So strive for fairness and learn to be content with your journey. You'll be surprised at how these can positively transform your life. Remember, the power to create a more equitable and content world lies within each of us. And that, my friends, is the true power of equality and contentment. How often do we truly practice forgiveness and compassion in our daily lives? It's a question worth pondering, isn't it? Let's delve into this a bit more. Let's start with the concept of chesed, or loving kindness. It's a wonderful Hebrew term that encompasses love, kindness, and compassion. It's about being kind, not just when it's easy or convenient, but at all times, even when it's challenging. It's about extending a hand to those who may not necessarily deserve it in the eyes of the world, but need it nevertheless. Now, let's weave in selicha, or forgiveness. It's a powerful concept, one that can transform relationships and heal deep wounds. Remember the parable of the unforgiving servant. The king forgave an enormous debt, a debt so large it was beyond comprehension. Yet he chose to forgive. Why? Because he understood the power of selicha, the power of forgiveness. We are all humans and we all make mistakes. It's part of our nature. But when we embrace selicha, when we choose to forgive those who have wronged us, we are not just releasing them from their past mistakes. We are also freeing ourselves from the burden of resentment and bitterness. Imagine a world where everyone practiced chesed and selicha. A world filled with love, kindness, and forgiveness. A world where we are not quick to judge, but quick to forgive. A world where we extend compassion, not just to our friends and family, but to everyone we meet. This is not just a utopian dream. It can be our reality. It starts with us. It starts with you and me choosing to, to practice forgiveness and compassion in our daily lives. It's not always easy, but it's always worth it because in forgiving others, we find peace. In showing compassion, we find joy. And in practicing chesed, we find a love that transcends all boundaries and limitations. So let's make a pledge right here, right now. Let's make our world a better place by practicing forgiveness and spreading love and kindness. And remember, it begins with you and me. Let's make it happen. Ever wondered how humility and fairness could lead to a more fulfilling life? Well, it's time to delve into the world of Tzedakah and Anava, two integral principles that can guide us towards a life of integrity and contentment. Let's start with Tzedakah. Rooted in the Hebrew language, Tzedakah means righteousness or justice. It's the idea of treating everyone fairly regardless of their status or how long they've been part of your life. This concept is beautifully illustrated in the parable of the laborers in the vineyard. In this tale, the vineyard owner pays all his workers the same wage, irrespective of the time they started work. What a powerful lesson in equality. But Tzedakah isn't just about fairness, it's also about integrity. It urges us to make honest decisions, to stand up for what's right, even when it's difficult or unpopular. So the next time you find yourself in a tricky situation, remember, Tzedakah, choose fairness, choose justice, and let your actions speak volumes about your character. Now, let's talk about Anava, or humility. Anava encourages us to value each person's contributions and be content with our own journey. It's not about belittling ourselves or feeling inferior. Instead, it's about recognizing the worth of others and acknowledging the unique value we bring to the table. It's about finding joy in our accomplishments, no matter how small. 
and celebrating the successes of others, no matter how big. Anava and Siddhika together can create a harmonious balance in our lives. On one hand, we have Siddhika, urging us to act with integrity and fairness. On the other, we have Anava, teaching us to be humble and content. When we embrace these principles, we not only foster a healthier community, but also find personal fulfillment. So let's make a promise. Let's commit to living a life of Tzedakah and Anava. Let's strive for fairness in our actions, humility in our hearts, and contentment in our souls. Remember, humility and fairness are not just virtues. They're the keys to a fulfilling life. Let's quickly revisit what we've learned today. We dove deep into the transformative power of Chesed, Cilicia, Tzedakah, and Anava for Hebrew principles that can shape our lives in profound ways. We began by exploring Chesed, or loving kindness. We saw how this principle urges us to show compassion and love in our interactions, just like the king in the parable of the unforgiving servant. We then moved on to Selichah, the Hebrew term for forgiveness. Like the king who forgave an enormous debt, we too should be willing to forgive others when they stumble. Next, we ventured into the realm of tzedakah, which represents righteousness or justice. Drawing from the parable of the laborers in the vineyard, we learned about the importance of treating everyone fairly, regardless of when they join the journey. Finally, we uncovered anava, the Hebrew term for humility. Embracing this principle means valuing each person's contributions and being content with our own journey. These principles aren't just abstract concepts. They can become the foundation for healthier, more compassionate connections. They can guide us to create a community filled with love, forgiveness, fairness, and humility. They can inspire us to be better friends, colleagues, neighbors, and citizens. But these principles aren't meant to be kept to ourselves. They're meant to be shared, to ripple out and touch the lives of others. So as we conclude our journey, let's make a commitment, a commitment to live out Chesed, Selicha, Tzedaka, and Anava in our daily lives, a commitment to reflect on how we can apply these principles in our uh, relationships, work, and personal growth. As we conclude, remember to live out Chesed, Selisha, Tzedakah, and Anava in your daily lives. Reflect on how you can apply these principles in your relationships, work, and personal growth. So, are you ready for a challenge that could transform your life. Now that we've journeyed together through the wisdom of these timeless parables, it's time to put what we've learned into action. This week, I challenge you to practice Selisha, to forgive as freely as the king in the parable of the unforgiving servant, whether it's a small misunderstanding or a deep-seated grudge. Find one thing that you can let go of and experience the freedom that forgiveness brings. But don't stop there. Also, strive for tzedakah, righteousness and justice, as taught in the parable of the laborers in the vineyard. Seek ways to promote fairness in your community. Maybe it's standing up for a coworker or helping a neighbor in need. No act of justice is too small. After you've taken on this challenge, drop a comment below. Share your experience with forgiveness and how you've worked to promote justice. Let's inspire each other with our stories, creating a ripple effect of chesed and anava, of love and humility in our world. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It's a small click for you, but a big boost for this community we're building together. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel 
We've got a lot more wisdom to explore, and I'd hate for you to miss out. Consider sharing this video with your friends. Maybe they're seeking encouragement, maybe they're ready for a challenge, or maybe they're just in need of a little dose of kindness. Whatever the reason, let's extend our community of love, forgiveness, fairness, and humility. Remember, you have the power to make a positive impact. Every act of kindness, each moment of forgiveness, contributes to a world filled with Chesed and Anava. So, go out there and be a beacon of light in the world. Until next time, keep shining bright.